In the last lecture, I explained what a Poisson random variable is. Now I'm going to talk about how to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for one. So first of all, I'm going to look at a full example, and we're going to take out the parts that we need to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So, at a theme park, there is a roller coaster that sends an average of three cars through its circuit every minute between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. A random variable x represents the number of roller coaster cars to pass through the circuit between 6 p.m. and 6.10 p.m. What is the probability that 35 cars will pass through the circuit between 6 p.m. and 6.10 p.m.? Well, first of all, we just want to calculate the mean and standard deviation, and these are the equations for those two things. To calculate the mean, it is lambda, that weird letter thing, times t, and for standard deviation, it's just the square root of the mean. So first of all, let's look at what we have. We know that x refers to the number of successes. In this case, we want to know the probability of 35 cars passing through. T refers to the length of time. Between 6 and 6, 10 p.m., we have 10 minutes. Lambda refers to the average number of successes in a one-second interval, or sorry, a one-minute interval. In this case, there are three passing through the circuit every minute. And E is a constant, which is 2.718. Now, this is from the example that I did in the last lecture. We're not going to need all of those things. We just need, for example, mean. We just need lambda and T. So we would just multiply lambda, which is 3, times t, which is 10, and get 30. So the mean for this Poisson random variable is 30. And now the standard deviation is just the square root of that, which is 5.477. So for this random variable, we can expect, on average, 30 cars to pass through the circuit between 6 p.m. and 6.10 p.m. with a standard deviation of 5.477. And that is how you calculate the mean and the standard deviation of a Poisson random variable.